Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Gaming Weekly, and this is special because this is the first time in TGW history we're going to be producing a Gladiator match here on Halo Infinite. We've seen Gladiator matches in the past, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, it's going to be no different. Every single person for themselves with one life, the last man standing with the most amount of points will indeed win. Hey everybody, welcome to GameSide. I'm Adrian Matt alongside with the legendary and Hall of Famer Xbox Freak Pete and Partner. Welcome. This is going to be a great matchup, and are you ready for a bang-up night tonight? Well, look, um, I told you, uh last week to not call me partner because you know we ain't partners and like i'm not training with you I, I am here every weekend to uh try to carry you on commentary you know and and like a i don't really gotta try too much to be able to do that but yeah um i'm excited for this game of gladiator however if you don't want me to call you partner, I'll call you colleague. Are you actually ready for tonight, colleague? And the matchup's breaking down, That's and it seems better. to be that... And it looks like, ladies and gentlemen, in the first matchup, or at least in the first round, we saw the elimination of GH5Q. And remember, GH5Q now is designated to face the color pink as the number one contendership. She's going to be facing the color pink for the title on the line sometime down the road in TGW, which I can't wait for. So the new round is... Started and um, all three com competitors are uh, taking the strange route of standing completely still, not allowing the other competitors to uh, make a move here. It's pretty interesting. Well, hold on, partner. I wouldn't actually call it strange. I believe that the TGW superstars here are reevaluating and actually waiting for the when the time is right to attack. Uh -oh. And here we go. Matchup again, going Ooh. down. Oh my, Bob and I with a pummel. And from behind, here comes Ooh. Punt though. And out of nowhere, another shot. Punt now with the point, but still win of the game is Lava Knight. This is unpredictable, and this is actually pretty exciting. It's sort of like sudden death here tonight. Yeah, um, you know, like, we all know what the game Gladiator is, you know, like, you don't gotta keep expl explaining what it is, you know, the Fans, I'm assuming clearly know what it is, but like anyway, once again, all three competitors standing still. It's a very strange strategy, but you know, we'll see what happens with it. I know you didn't really go to broadcasting school, but one of the broadcasting rules is to always inform the audience as if they're new and attending every single week. Nonetheless, though, JH5Q is standing by, and Lava Knight as well, and Res Punk, and. You know, we talked about the new faces in TGW. We've been saying this for quite some time. For the new year in 2023, we're going to be seeing some new faces in the Gaming Weekly, including the newest one, Res X Punk, who's making a great statement tonight. Moments ago, was able to win that first, I should say the second round, but nevertheless has his first point. Yeah, but still in the lead is Lava Knight with two, but you know, um, GH5Q and Res Punk is actually not too far behind a exactly one point behind Lava Knight is wounded oh the trade ending the round with the double pumble Res Punk now here's so the thing ready. well Gladiator is a very interesting game because just because you're the last band standing that does not mean that you're actually winning the game it's all based on the amount of points you have if you have the most amount of points you will win so moments ago we saw Punk yeah he was the last man standing but the fact is Knight and JH5Q eliminated each other meaning that there was no opponent for Punk to actually go after which affected the man's uh well affected the man's points value Lava Knight is still dictated the pace of this matchup with three points yeah because Lava Knight and JH5Q traded they both get a Point there, but the round four ends. Res Punk uh, attempting to catch up here with two points is not too far behind the competition. Yeah, he's slowly climbing up the ranks, but now we're at a tie game between GH5Q and Lava Knight, who is standing by, and it looks like every single superstar get to capitalize on each of their weapons here, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be an interesting development to uh -oh. see who's going to be the gladiator in this matchup. Matchup now is happening at this point. Here we go. Punk now going after Rest GH5Q. Punk. GH5Q has been eliminated. Bull him Rambo taking out GH5Q there, and he also takes down Lava Knight. He's now in the lead. And now Res Punk is, I guess, gloating in the uh, basket of the glory here tonight. Was able to eliminate both TGW members in this match. 
matchup is taking place yet again. Continuing around six. Whoever has the most amount of points will win. Thus far winning is Punk, and Punk perhaps actually gains the momentum again. Yeah, um, now he's actually leading with four points, whilst GH, 5Q, and Lava Knight is actually a point behind. But look, this is any person's game in this game called Gladiator. Um, you know, like a, especially with the random weapon spawns, anyone can block out the victor here tonight. It's unpredictable, and there are so many different factors. Uh -oh. Look at this, though. Lava Knight entering into the cubby. It rests Punk, though, with another another pump with a Lava Knight. And Jane 5Q looking to get her revenge. But instead, now Punk. Ooh. Oh, this time around, walked right into the pummel of Jane 5Q. But take a look at the scoreboard. Res Punk is still winning with five points. Yeah, um, five, four, and three. Some uh, very close scores here between the competitors, but still. In the lead is Brass Punk on his debut match. He's uh, doing pretty good for himself. I think these great TGW superstars are having a, a blast here tonight, and they're doing great in there. But I'll tell you one thing. Oh, Punk wait, Adrian. And oh, we have a developing story. Jitch 5Q, like if you spectator now, she spawned with no weapons. Well, really, I mean, yeah, you're right. She has no weapon on her. Oh, and well. now the question is, how is she going to battle in this match? What is I mean, she going to do? She's a sitting grenade, duck but... in there. Uh, well. Oh, and GH5Q, that was easy pickings. <laughs> Res Punk was able to capitalize against GH5Q, who didn't have a weapon. And here wow. we go, Punk with another pummel. And it seems that Punk is dominating. And Punk had it. Hey, listen, Punk had to do the, the, the thing he had to do in there. He had to make sure he had to eliminate GH5Q. Yeah. Despite the fact that GH5Q didn't have a weapon, it's a gladiator game. You have to do yeah. what you can to win. And that's exactly what happened moments ago. It was Rez Punk who just won the entire game. He just made his TGW debut, and he won with seven points here tonight. What an absolutely incredible, emphatic statement when this new TGW comer coming tonight for the first time and beating uh, two superstars at the same time. Yeah, uh... Kind of reminds me of me. How does it remind you of you? My uh, 2016, 2017 run, you know, the uh, only TGW competitor in our history to have two consecutive championships at the same time. This is Xbox Freak Pit you're talking to. Okay, can you stop talking about yourself, though? Because it's not about yourself. It's about these great players who are battling here tonight in the spotlight, including the winner moments ago, which was Res Hex Punk. But now the question is, who's going to win in the next battle? It is a free-for-all again in a very interesting map. I'm sure you heard of WrestleMania, but I'm not sure if you heard of Sonic Mania. And it's going to be actually interesting. Yeah, man, you know, I can't uh, wait to check out this uh, new map here up. Part of hey, Halo Infinite's a wide range of uh, Forge World maps. You know, we uh, can't wait to check out this new game. Yeah, a plethora of slew of different maps that Halo Infinite is able to offer, which is one of the reasons why I believe uh, the Gaming Weekly's Halo Infinite custom games are the best out there on YouTube. You can only see it on this channel, on this contents channel, that is the Gaming Weekly on Twitch and also live on YouTube. But I'll tell you one thing, Xbox. We are really preparing for a great matchup for the championship because JH5Q, as mentioned, is the number one contender. She'll be facing the color pink for the title on the line down the pipeline. I could ask you, though, with JH5Q being in this matchup, I'm sure you would agree it is important for her to gain all the momentum for her to stack all these wins so she can gain some confidence for that match right yeah um she has to try to win these matches here you know gain some momentum in the process you know um Slayer. with the newcomer winning the last match i'm assuming that that doesn't suit too well for a uh, GH5Q. Well, you gotta believe that the color pink is looking on as well, watching the tape and studying the opponent for just a bit, trying to see exactly what her weaknesses are. But nonetheless, matchup is transpiring yet again, and we talked about it. It's another unique map. This is Sonic Mania. Check a look at the, I should say, take a look at the environment. Check it out, and for all the Sonic fans, I'm sure you're very pleased to see this great map. I look like a race map in a way but you know pretty good 
But nonetheless. And look at, oh my, Lava Knight though. From behind attacking Punk, the winner of the previous matchup in the Gladiator. But the question is, who's going to be winning this matchup? Jade 5 q going after Knight now. Knight and Jade 5 q oh. battling, and Jade 5 q at the last lap there, gained the first point of the matchup along with Lava Knight. Very nice of reversal there by Jade 5 q getting her first point of the match, but Res Punk could actually get to put a point on his scoreboard. But we still are early in this game, and there's only 9 minutes and 5 seconds, so of course Res Punk has a lot of time to get into the scoreboard. And Lava Knight with the destruction, though, knocking down Jade 5Q, the former champion. And Res Punk, though, going after Lava Knight. And what a shot there! A great shot from Punk! Res Punk now, like a. Using the commando. Oh, wait. Okay, the, uh, the double team there to Res Punk by Jade 5Q and Lava Knight. Take him out there, and now Jh 5 q was able to take out Lava Knight with the same weapon. Yeah, Lava Knight getting floored. Jh 5 q raising up the points to two. Still one of the game, though, is Lava Knight with three points. And again, this HUD action, the triple threat action, is being live in the Gaming Weekly in the Sonic Mania. And Punk just got, there you saw how he got eliminated, at least at that mm. moment in time, falling out of the map. And those are the spikes that you got to worry about as well. If you fall out of the map, you will be eliminated. Yeah, um... Like, not only do the competitors have to watch out for the competition in this game, but they also have to watch out for falling off the map and uh, getting killed in the process. Yeah, but they also have to watch out for the weapon station around the map that can help them. And Lava Knight with the, the Kneeler rifle knocking down Rez. And Lava Knight is at four, is now dictated to the pace thus far. But again, it's every single person's game. Anybody can gain control any given time. Yeah, you know, like it's a big map for the uh, run weapons. Specific weapons can come into play majorly oh. in this map. Such as the sniper rifle and the uh, I for uh, I got what that uh, shock sniper was called. You know, I mean, like I don't really pl play this game like a you're the Halo legend. Well, look, this is a relatively new Halo game. And plus, and Jh Five Q, we know what this weapon is—the gravity hammer. But go ahead. Don't get on to me for not knowing the names of weapons because you know like <laughs> over the years um you have misnamed so many weapons so uh, you know don't get on to me yeah but the difference it, is by the I've way actually... it's called the shock rifle there we go the shock rifle okay it took you about a minute nonetheless though uh, you played halo you, many times you, so it you should... didn't name the sniper anyway look at you it doesn't matter, I'm just the play-by-play -play announcer, you're the color analyst. Anyway, GH5Q though, once again, continue the assault, the pressure begin to the build. And GH5Q aiming against, I believe that's Lava Knight. I could be wrong, no, that is correct. Lava Knight just got knocked down. Yeah, yeah, you know, like you can't even name the correct competitors now. Like, what are you doing? I, I did, actually. GH5Q just knocked out Lava Knight, that's what I said. And now she just knocked out Res Punk there, so... But nonetheless, though, Jade 5 q is dominating thus far with 9 points, and I gotta tell you, she is gearing up for this championship matchup. Perhaps that title match is in her head, because she wants to win that title. She tasted gold before. She wants to reclaim the title. Perhaps maybe tonight could be a great way to send a message to the color pink saying, hey, I still have it. Yeah, um, she is currently dominating this, ma this matchup here with 10 points. Pretty good for her, but unfortunately for her, Lava not with the, uh, I don't know what that the gun's called either, board forgive me. Shot her in the back with it, however. All right, it's uh, some sort of modified shotgun, I believe. No, it's far off. From what I understand. I think it's called like the It doesn't matter, though. It's something? destructive. No, like, that's the other way. using the rocket launcher, though. He's the skewer. The rocket it's, launcher. It's, called, it's called the skewer. There. Okay, great. Do you want a cookie for getting all these weapons right? Look, if... um, If... You had a cookie for like every weapon that you didn't get right. You would have like, you know, like 10 uh, containers full of them. Nice. That's real nice. I'm sure you actually thought of that this entire week. 
Anyway, uh, Res Punk, though, is trying to attack the opponent in the distance, and that is actually GH5Q slipping and sliding now, hiding behind this rock, which is pretty smart. You saw GH5Q... Uh, Took her time to recuperate for a little bit. She was in trouble for just a moment. Now the other two are going after each other. Oh. Punk and Lava Knight. And there he's seen eliminated Punk. from Mr. Knight. Rocket Watcher, who the sternum of uh, Rez not there. Plus uh, GH, 5 q are getting taken out by the same weapon here. But still, GH, 5 q is in the lead with 12 points. Yeah, she has 12 points, but Lava Knight now reaching a double digits. Punk, though, knocking down Knight, perhaps decreasing the momentum and the confidence. But I'll tell you, it is neck and neck between Knight and GH5Q. Moments ago, we saw it was Rez Punk who was dominating the Halo Gladiator matchup. But tonight, in this certain round, it is Lava Knight and GH5Q. So close in the action, but 13, though, thus far with GH5Q, which I have to spectate. The number one contender at this moment in time, who's doing a pretty good job adding in so much pressure. Oh, um... Speaking of pressure, uh, while we're not just win like out of bounds there, he eliminating himself in the process, but, um, you know, speaking of eliminating, uh, there we go. We got a quick turn of events there with Rez Punk walking down on top. Yeah, collapsing going yet again. In, going after the opponent. And Lava Knight, though, getting eliminated from Res Punk, who's slowly but surely now raising up the ranks. But three minutes and four seconds, I could ask you this question, partner. Do you think perhaps Res Punk can still make it up to 13 or 14 at least? I mean, it's like always possible, but, you know, considering the uh, time frame, like it's unlikely, but it's still possible. Yeah, anything is possible in TGW, that's for sure. GH5Q going up the left now, across the map, landing on her feet, going after the opponent. The opponent turns around, watch out though. The energy sword in hand with oh, wait, Lava Knight, who uses the energy sword, capitalizing, and now turning his attention against GH5Q, using the Needler, and once again, the Needler showing why it's a very, very highly effective weapon. Lava Knight now reached to a 14th point, meaning he is now tied with GH5Q. Very, uh... A very close game here by GH5Q and Lava Knight. 14 points apiece whilst Res Punk is not doing too hot with four, but he's trying his best. I'll tell you, Lava Knight and GH5Q being close, I think that's an understatement. I think these two are just going at it. They are at each other's throats and making sure they're going to try to one-up each other oh. because that's what it's all about here in the Gaming Weekly, trying to carve out a great legacy for the new year 2023. And GH5Q now inside a tunnel and perhaps maybe realizing that the opponent is right against the side of the tunnel, perhaps. I'm not quite sure. And there you see Punk, though, going to oh. capitalize, was waiting, was using that great strategy, yeah. the lying in wait strategy for the opponent to come out and attack from behind, oh. which worked. Yeah, for a uh, res punk, the camping actually paid off for him there as a pretty good strategy by him. Yeah, and Lava Knight, though, is now looking for the next opponent. And I'll tell you, this is going to be an interesting story whoa, 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 because whoa, whoa, we're at whoa, one whoa. minute and six seconds. Try to name the weapon that he's holding. You know uh, I have no idea, to be honest with you, but I know yeah, it's destructive, see, look, and he's using it right look now. Look at you. Look at you. It's called the Hydra. Yeah, but what I know... Yeah, but what I know, though, is that that weapon could lead him to a victory, because right now he's at 15, he's winning the game now. As a flat kitten joins the game, pretty late in the game, but, you know, we, uh, always welcome new talent. Yeah, I know it's TGW Acquisition joining right now, but with 27 seconds and counting, I'm not quite sure if it's going to be enough time for Flat Kitten to raise up the stakes. But look at this. Lava Knight and GH5Q both 15 points apiece, and this could be a reminiscent seed to the uh, to the matchup that GH5Q and the Color Pink had a couple of weeks ago when they were going back and forth oh, in a oh, tie. Yeah. Right now, it's GH5Q and Lava Knight. Oh, wait. Oh, wait a second. Lava Why Knight's at 16. The There's only eight seconds left. Oh. you got to be kidding me. GH5Q get eliminated. Bro. Which gives the opening to Flat, I should say Lava Knight, gives the opening to Knight to win the matchup, and he does! Wow. Lava Knight is the, can you believe it? Lava Knight is the winner with 16 points. Well, Lava Knight was barely able to clutch it in the very end, but nonetheless, Lava Knight 
walks out victorious here tonight. Well, my hat's off to all these great participants and these performers, again, performing in TGW. And they were absolutely incredible in there. And this is one of the reasons why I believe the Gaming Weekly, including Halo Infinite, is one of the greatest things going on for the new year. Yeah, um, you know, like, I've always, uh, looked to this channel mainly, like, as a Halo-oriented channel, so seeing Halo Infinite being introduced, you know, very sad to see. Yeah, 2022 was one of the greatest years in TGW, and one of the reasons, because of Halo Infinite. Halo Infinite really drove the content in the Gaming Weekly, one of the greatest games of all time, and I cannot wait for Halo Infinite for 2023, I can guarantee you that. But let's go ahead and switch gears now to the uh, to the final message of the evening, because uh, the board of directors have informed me for the past week or so that there is a newcomer in TGW coming his way soon, and this newcomer apparently wants to stay hidden at the moment he wants to remain anonymous he wants to remain mysterious although i do want to say that perhaps we are getting closer and closer to the arrival and the debut of this mystery person xbox do you have any guesses who do you think this is uh i'm not sure who it is but you know like if you're in anticipating the fans for so long you better come in here and make a statement for yourself you know like uh that is uh what like i would do in their position well i'm glad he made a statement or at least i'm glad you mentioned a statement because that's exactly what he made he made a statement to the board of directors he sent the message in which he said quote tick tock tick tock time is running out sooner or later you will feel the wrath of me there's Lifting a carry words of this yeah you can go. So, like he's a, a, a carrying cross fan. I guess so. But cryptic words nonetheless. Yeah, man. You know, like a uh, well, nonetheless ongoing mm -hmm. developing story here in PGW. And like, uh, we will keep you updated that as the uh, weeks progress. Yeah, we will, but as the weeks progress as well, we have a great championship matchup taking place soon in TGW. The headline, GH5Q, the number one contender, versus the color pink for the free-for-all championship on the line. Thanks for joining us to Punk GH5Q Live tonight, and for Xbox Freak Pit, I'm Andrew Matt. Thanks for joining us. Have a good night. We'll see you next time.